Welcome to the Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with Q. It is what we aim for. Hi. Hello. Want to introduce yourself? I'm Dave and I play bass. I'm Sean and I attempt to sing. I'm Mikey and I play the drums. All right. So welcome back to the Rave. Thank you. So how is the Subsidy Take Action Tour going so far? Uh, phenomenally. Uh, we're having a blast. It's almost done, which is crazy. I think it's the fastest tour we've ever been on. Uh, but the bands are great, the shows are cool, and we're just really thankful to be able to contribute and simultaneously be able to play shows and uh, raise well, raise awareness and raise funds for, for charity. It's, it's the Keep a Breast Foundation, is uh, that what that is? It's actually do something .org this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So, and all, uh, 10 percent of uh, the door every night goes to do something.org, which okay. is a foundation, uh, which is a website that, that you could go to, and you can find out all ca causes around your community. You know what oh, I mean? Nice. And that's what the Take Action Tour is all about. It's just about people getting out and doing something. It's not like benefiting a specific cause or group or anything like that. It's just telling people, like, get out there and do anything. Yeah, you know? the things your community or... Exactly. Whatever you can do, whatever you can spare. And teaching, like, young kids about that to get involved in their community, like, at a young age is something that uh, we'd like to help them make a habit out of as they get older because it's really important. So can you just tell me a little bit about how you guys got together? Um, it's actually kind of a, a whirlwind. Uh, the band was started and then we had some members drop out. He joined the band in 2007 <clears throat> and then uh, we had Mikey just last fall in 2008. Um, and Jeff's sleeping in his bunk <laughs> currently. But um, yeah, just just over the years we've We've all just kind of, I don't know. Uh, it's happened very naturally and just very like, you know what I mean? You know we've you have just, that for a reason, right? Yeah, we've all just like come together. I'm trying not to, <laughs> hey, we did this. Um, yeah, I mean, we all just, we're, we get along very well as people, so it always like made sense. We knew each other through like different bands and like different situations, but we always like got along still. And so when the opportunities, you know, arose, we all just kind of, you know, gravitated towards one another. That's how I see it, kind of. Okay. All right, so who or what inspired your sound for um, your latest CD, Rotation? Jeff would be perfect for this. <laughs> yeah. Because he would just say, sometimes I just stare at a sandal, <laughs> and uh, it just comes to me. Exactly, and like we're trying to like think of like a nice real answer. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know, life. Life did it, I think. Uh, the past few years, we had the opportunity to be on the road and absorb uh, like sponges. Uh, the different musical acts we were touring with, you know, and like, for instance, Circus Survive would go crazy with the pedals. And I attribute that to a, a lot of the reason why we use some pedals on this, uh, this record. Um, so, y yeah, life. I don't know if, if you have anything well, no, else. Well, I remember you were saying, like, just like how the frustration and the change going on in the band and just like all that really inspired, like, the lyrics and, like, the sound. That we, that we came out with. John Feldman really helped inspire us as well. You know, there's a lot of his imprint on that record, so. Right. Yeah. So, you guys are big as far as fan interaction. I did notice on the website, fans get a chance to submit their own pictures and videos. Yeah. So, does that get flooded, like, from each show? Um, yeah, we, we get footage from each show. I mean, just last, just the other night, we were, like, in a chat room that we do with our, um, like, own, what's it called, fan club. And you know they send us pictures. They send us all sorts of stuff. They're, they're very involved in what we do, and, and I like it that way. And I think we all do. Yeah, we kind of have this thing which uh, it's uh, friends, not fans, because fans just seem weird to me. Yeah. Like just that having fans um, and and friends, you know, you want to talk to. There, we've been so fortunate to have so many people f frequently come back. You know, I mean, tonight at the rave, we'll we'll see the front row will probably be the same front row we've had the last five times we've been here, uh, and that's a beautiful thing. So it, it's neat to have a connection. And it's really important. I think a lot of bands don't, and maybe that's why certain bands are doing better than others. Definitely, like fans being treated, or people in general just being treated like a burden as opposed to a blessing. You know, 
So we try and definitely, like, we love hanging out with the fans, talking to them. It never, it's never like putting us out to do so. So you guys have toured with many different great artists. Who's the favorite band you guys have been on tour with? Simple Plan. Simple Plan. Oh, okay. They were um, just hands down the nicest, I mean, just the pinnacle of what any musician would hope to be. Yeah. They, man, they just treated us as equals and we were the opening band. Well, the second, they didn't second even need to pay attention to us, and they would make it a point to take us out after the shows, like to where they would go. Yeah, you know, and so and like get us in with them. Like I, I don't know. To me, that's a big deal because they could just be like, "Hey guys, meet us here," and be very insincere about it. They made sure they stuck by us. They babysat Jeff that night. Yeah, that? yeah. Pierre took Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> and so. Jeff ended up. This is so funny that Jeff isn't here. Jeff ended up the first night of that tour, in Halifax. I don't even know what province. Nova Scotia. Is. All right. Yeah. Um, in his boxers, just it, that's it, running up and down the streets. Yeah. Uh, and the cops came three times oh. to try to arrest him. Um, that was the first night of that tour. Yeah, simple plan to the illest. Yeah, very much so. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, they did it inspire you, like with other things too, like you know, with just like you know, starting out and becoming, you know, like a. Well, w I remember that was one of the first CDs. <laughs> no helmets, no pads, just balls. Oh, yeah. Um, with I'm Just a Kid and everything. I was probably around 14 or 13 when it came out. That was a pretty big deal for me. A pretty Definitely. big deal. Yeah. They're still like a super mega huge band in Canada. I think that people forget that sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how many people did we play to at the Two shows. One in the beginning of the tour and one at the end. Three weeks in between. 13,500 people sold out. It's crazy. It's awesome. Nuts. Yeah, it's Nuts. Nuts. It was really cool to be able to do that with them. I hate you and your microphone. You <laughs> piss me off so much with it because it's just progressively just, just lower, like and lower and lower and <laughs> lower as this goes it's on. It's one of those days. All right. All right. So I'll, this is your fifth time performing here at the Rave. Do you guys get a chance to go around the building and explore some of the different rooms yet? I've seen it. Yeah. I don't. I've never time. seen the upstairs, though. I'm really into that. Yeah. I I've see never that. been upstairs. never been to that pool or whatever. That's, that's You've never seen the pool? No, I've never seen the pool. The pool is all right. I mean, it's big. It's big? It's yeah. just, I I was scared, like, to <laughs> death here by his old drummer. Um, there's there's a, a video of it on, on YouTube a, or something. There's a little, like, crawl space, like, in one in of the... In the dressing rooms? The rooms. Mm -hmm. And, like, we would just... Every time we came through here, someone would hide in there with like a mask or something, and like we'd bring someone in. Hey, look at this man! It's so creepy. Blah blah blah. I mean, like really. But they planted a camera, and unbeknownst to me, like I just let out the weakest, just scream. No, and Bryce like, from the Rocket, someone was the best. She just goes, ah! Like, 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 like I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> so it's way worth. It. All right. I'm sorry, Bryce. Right. No, I hope, I hope you get the chance to see it too, and yeah. you know, it's, it's fun history here so yeah. <laughs> all right so what's next for Akita's what we aim for we want to do another record so we're gonna go home and write it and probably put it down on a digital hard drive and then put it on CDs and, and sell it I think so <laughs> very yeah. specific yeah. yeah that's and then tour yep. yeah yeah, yes. all yeah. there it is yeah. well, very cool guys so thank you very much thank you for thank you with us today Definitely looking forward to tonight. And you know, was it okay? Did you have to go through a snowstorm to get here? No. No, we, we we've lucky. missed the snowstorm every time, but we're gonna go right back into it. All right. Yep. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> we'll see thank you. you. Right. Thank you very <laughs> much. All right. Thank you for watching the Rave TV. Make sure to check out Kita's What We Aim For's latest CD, Rotation, and we will catch you next time on the Rave TV. Didn't exist in my world If you like